Hi guys, it's Leanne from the Dallas, Texas area. Um, coming to you again, this is my second video. Um, you may remember the first one, which was an introduction. Um, and you can find me on YouTube under Leanne Watchman. Um, but today is December the 15th, and um, we're quickly closing in on Christmas. Uh, the celebration of Christ's birth as a reminder on uh, December the 25th. And today, as I watch the news, I hear about the horrors and atrocities that are going on in Syria. Uh, many of you know, many of you may not know, that the destruction of Syria is a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Uh, but don't take that from me. Please read it for yourself. Um, I would like to recommend that you do a, a search, a word search. Um, you can do this on Google. And just Google uh, biblical prophecy on destruction of Syria. I would like to personally recommend an amazing tool that we have. Uh, a really good positive thing about the internet and technology. It's a tool called BibleGateway.com, and um, I highly recommend as a Christian that you utilize this accessible tool while we can, and always have your Bible with you. Always have your Bible with you when you go to this search tool and look in the Word of God for yourself. You can uh, It has different versions, um, American Standard, King James, New King James, whatever your favorite is. Um, and you can look it up under those different versions, and um, there's lots of different tools there. Just go and explore it for yourself. You'll be amazed at this great and powerful tool that we have free access to. So today, I want to talk to you guys about Mark chapter 13. So if you have your Bible, please get it out, and let's turn to Mark chapter 13, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but before we do, I'd like to say a quick prayer, and I pray that you'll join me in this. Uh, Father God, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord, I just ask you, Lord, to open our eyes as we open your word, Lord, and seek you today, to seek your word on the matter, Lord, for this time. So, Father, let everything that comes from my mouth be um, from your Holy Spirit, Lord, be of you, Lord. And I just pray that your word will just cut and divide even unto joint and to marrow and declare that as your word says, it will not return to you void. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we're going to go through this quickly um, because there, Mark chapter 13 has 36, seven verses. So we're going to go for the, through the first few. And I think it's a very, very important for our times that we're living in. So I'm gonna read, I'm gonna start reading through it and then we're gonna talk about it. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answering said unto him, Do you see these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon As he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answered them and began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, 
for they will deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. That is Mark chapter 13, 1 through 10. So what I would propose to you is to think about this. These are from the very, the very words from the mouth of Jesus. This is not from some teacher. This is not from some preacher. This is not from uh, just a, a, a normal citizen on the street, okay? An average citizen on the street. This is from Jesus. If you are a Christian, you are a Christ follower, and Jesus should be your Lord. He's your Lord. So let's think about these words. Let's think about these words. He says, take heed in verse 9. Take heed. That's a warning that you will be beaten, that you'll brought before rulers and kings. That means before your government. And you will be beaten for his sake, for the sake of Jesus, for a testimony against them. So you will be beaten because of the mere fact that you are a Christ follower, that you are a light because you hold within you the very Holy Spirit of God, which dwells in us as a Christian. That deposit of the Holy Spirit is a light to the world. And by your very presence, that light is offensive to a world who rejects Jesus Christ. You convict them, your very presence convicts them of their sin and their rebellion. So we know right here, Mark chapter 13, that we are going to be persecuted, that we are going to suffer. If Christ suffered, we will suffer. And he tells us right here, he warns us in his word. Does that sound like prosperity gospel to you? Does that sound like some of these prosperity teachers that are preaching nothing but health and wealth and um, everything you need, want, or desire, godly or ungodly, in this life? No, no, it doesn't. Prosperity is a false gospel. They're like those who say, Christ, here's the Christ. No, this is the word of God. He has given it to us as a treasure. It's a treasure. It's truth. Jesus is the only one who ever claimed to be the way, the truth, and the life. And he has given us his very word to study and to understand. He has given us this treasure. So open it up. Quit listening to every teacher that's on TV that tickles ears and tells people what they want to hear and reassures them of their salvation while they are living in active and willing sin and have no intention of changing. Here's the message for today. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. He's coming soon. He's coming very, very soon. His return is imminent. Look up, for your redemption draws nigh. God bless you. We'll talk soon about the rest of Mark chapter 13. Bye for now from Texas. Everyone have a Merry Christmas and God bless. Bye-bye.